Hi, Professor Sherry. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. What can I do for you? I have a bit of a bizarre question to ask you. Um, this is kind of weird. I have a friend who um, doesn't dress well, and he isn't getting dates as a result. And you're a well put together guy, and um, I was hoping that maybe you could give me some advice that I could pass on to him for how he can get more dates. Let me see, a scientific approach to dressing better. Well, one would first of all have to gather some evidence, make some observations about what clothes look like, what clothes work. Now, one idea might be to spend a little bit of money to give, say, $2,000 to each of three girls that you trust to equip you with some decent clothes. So you would take them down to the shops and you would ask them to pick what looks best on you and your friend. And so then you'd start to form ideas, hypotheses, if you like, about what works. You might decide that a stripy shirt works on you. Uh, you might decide that black pants work. But you wouldn't stop at that. And um, as you know, I do philosophy of science as well as actual science. And I'd want to bring in a little bit of modern philosophy of science, the idea that we can't prove hypotheses or theories, but what we really do is to disprove them. So then the next phase would be to actually go on three dates, wear those clothes, and at the end of the dates, ask the young ladies in question to criticize what it is you're wearing and to tell you what should definitely not be worn because they're not you know, enhancing. So by a process of elimination, one could discard, let's say, the blue stripy shirt or the black pants. Or, so I think that would be both systematic and it would be actually in keeping with what the way modern scientists and philosophers of science think that the scientific method you know, is actually applied and works. It's not by proving hypotheses, it's by actually discarding hypotheses and then the remaining ones are still considered viable and able to, uh, to function. Now that's, that's one suggestion. You might want to go even more quantitative, or rather, you know, I haven't been doing it quantitatively in the way I've suggested. A quantitative way might be to have, for instance, a website where you, your friend, or I would wear these clothes that the three girlfriends had selected, and then you'd have uh, members of the public voting um, on the various looks and deciding again what just doesn't work. And then by a process of elimination, you're left with a few things that hopefully do work and allow you to pull the birds. <laughs> of course, the other, the other possibility might even be a phone-in situation where people vote on the phone. Again, that would allow you to be more quantitative. But I really do think that the, um, the idea of eliminating possible clothes rather than going in thinking, oh, this is definitely going to work. And this, this is the way science is done these days. It's, uh, you, you whittle away at the bad theories and you're left with good theories, sort of survival of the fittest. Right. So if, if the stripy shirt survives, then you, you know, it's a fair bet that the stripy shirt is going to pull the birds. Because that's the real aim in all of this. Well, yeah, that's why I came to, to you, the chemistry department, actually. Yeah, I think, I think that would be quite an interesting problem. I think all, all problems are really you know, soluble by scientific methods. Why not? It works in science, it should work in buying clothes and the like. What do you think of my model here? So it's meant to display optical activity. You have the four different atoms bonded to the carbon atom. The mirror image of this is non-super... You've done chemistry. Right? Oh, I know all about yeah. that. I think you've done great things right there. Thank you very much. Yes. 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 Well, I was just you know, trying to think of new ways of teaching this when you walked in. I haven't come up with any, but hopefully I, I've gone some way to solving the problem with the striped shirt. What do you think? Okay, well, nice to see you again. Yeah, thanks so much. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes. Stripy shirt problem. Or the pulling of the birds problem.